Hello everyone, Alien Volt here, and let's talk about Ghost Recon. Alright, so let's get into this. This is Ghost Recon PvP, or better known as Ghost Wars. Now you get three different classes to choose from. Each class has four different subclasses to give you a variety of ways to play while basically not allowing you to be overpowered at the same time. So you can specialize your your ghost but not to the extent that you can in a single player game. The maps are also very small in comparison and while I, uh, I expected vehicles and larger maps I can see why they chose to go away from that. Now I have to say this is very fun, it's very competitive, very so calmish for the feel. Um, I, I really enjoyed it, but a lot of that has to do with your teammates. Because if you have a shitty team, well, you get a shitty game. Now this was the first time I actually tried using the marksmanship rifle. Normally I go with like a heavy support and use an LMG but that's not what I tried out this time I, I went with the marksmanship rifle and I figured hey why not let's try it um, the way this works is you actually have to unlock classes and you have to basically you get points and then you you buy into the class and unlock it as you play so that's that's pretty much how it goes it obviously has competitive ladders um, as well as a progression system that you unlock as you go through not only in, in the class itself but in uh, passive abilities. Now this is this is really well done it really is. The only problem I'm really seeing here is that the game's been out for a while already and to come in with a DLC now this late into the game and say hey here's PvP come, uh, come create a community is pretty tough and maybe maybe I'm wrong maybe it'll be extremely successful I mean it, it does play very good it's it's a great game this was a lot of fun so maybe it will be successful but the problem I'm seeing is that there there really isn't a community that's really strong with this game right now had this come out like you know when the game was released I think it would have done very well I think the game sales would have done extremely well I think holding off on this, you know, several months after the release of the game was a big mistake. The group of people I play with, or my outfit, um, has all moved on to other games. I mean, they, they don't play this game anymore. And so, for me now, I still have it installed because I enjoy it, so I come in and I do challenges every once in a while just for the fun of it because I really enjoy the game. I think it's, I think it's a great game. But not everyone chooses to keep you know 50 games installed on their computer I mean I do that because I like going back to things and playing them sometimes if I really enjoy the game if I don't well then I uninstall it and I make room for something else but uh, <laughs> not everyone does that some people just play one game they when they finish it they uninstall it and they're done unless it's a multiplayer game which this has now <laughs> Well, at least it will in two days for PC. Um, consoles released today, so they're getting to play this right now for the first time. And there's plenty of us that have played this in alpha and beta phases of this, as, as I have. But at the same time, it uh, it's late. It's so late in the game. And I just don't know if it's going to have the staying power that it could have had had it been released when the game was new. I think it was a horrible mistake to wait on this. They should have pushed the game back three months if they needed three months extra to, to polish this game mode to make sure it released on time. Or even six months. Whatever whatever they needed. I mean they should have just done it. To release this late in a game, the game's gonna you know, it's already been on sale several times. Um, <laughs> I just I, I'm sure some people may pick this up to play this once they see the videos and they really like it but at the same time it's not going to bring in the crowd that it could have on release day. Now the rounds are very short they're not very long 
and you only have to there's only three of them so it's the best of three now what some people really want to see with this is more of a competitive game mode and like say the best of you know nine or twelve they want to see a longer gameplay um, or at least longer matches so that way once you get into a match you spend a lot more time there and they also want to see the ability to remove things from your HUD so to basically make like a hardcore game mode where players aren't flagged and marked as long um, and maybe no drones at all I don't know whether or not the developers are going to deliver that or not I mean it's taken them such a long time to deliver even this I don't know that they're going to go in and, and start tweaking things now it'd be nice that they did so that way the community actually stayed with the game because I could play it either way but either way I mean we got something that's much different than what I anticipated anyways I, when they announced PvP in this later on I kind of expected you would be playing on large area maps maybe even like an entire zone against another another group or several groups as co-op so you would go in and try to complete objectives and deal with the other opposing enemy teams at the same time but that's not really what we got what we got was a small 4v4 which uh, I wasn't expecting not at all um, at first I didn't know what to think about it I was like going that's awfully small and and I don't know if I like the idea of having such you know such small maps to play on but once you get in there and you start playing it, it does provide a very competitive gameplay and and it was fun. It was it was actually a lot of fun. I actually enjoyed it. Come grab me, come grab me. But that doesn't mean that I wouldn't have enjoyed the other the other game modes as well. I mean having one objective to go in and work against, you know, several different co op teams as well as the NPCs, I think would have been pretty fun. Who knows, maybe we'll get that later. Or maybe next time. But as fun as this game mode is, it does present a lot of challenges. One, every time you fire, you can be marked on the map so enemies see where you're at. And two, you can be revived. So, you really have to, once you shoot somebody and you down them, they're not down and out for the match if you don't cover them. So, you really have to work as a team and coordinate and then watch your watch your uh, your targets very well even the down ones I hope they end up doing really well with this it'd be nice to see a lot of people come back to the game as well as some new faces so that way we can have a pretty pretty strong competitive community with this I had a lot of fun with Ghost Recon back in the day I was a member of a, a group called Team Soto which was made up of a group of guys that were uh, law enforcement and military and uh, we had a we had a good time playing and uh, actually I still play with some of them even when my task force today but uh, it'd be nice to get something like that going again where we could play and have a lot of fun competitively with this game because it, I think it has a lot of potential it's really good but with it being this late in the game I just don't know if they can pull it off but if they can, I'll be there because it's a lot of fun. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.